Hi everybody, this is Frank Cohen. I'm the CEO and founder at push to test I'm glad you decided to take a few minutes out of your day to learn about our on-demand cloud testing capability. I'm going to show you what the architecture is and show you a demonstration of how it works. Let me give you a bit of introduction to push to test We're the company that brought open source testing to some very large organizations, including PepsiCo and Deloitte, Deutsche Bank, Best Buy, and others. Our mission is very simple. We're all about test. We test because we know it'll deliver a more reliable world. We also make it easy for these organizations to move from manual to automated testing, and we support advanced testing topics, including agile performance testing. At our heart, we're all about open source testing. There's a, there's a bunch of different reasons why we'd want to run tests in the cloud. First of all, it might be that we don't want to make our own equipment investment to operate the tests at the level of load that we need to. So if we use a cloud testing environment, we can get much larger scale, up to millions of virtual users running these tests. The second reason might be for geographic testing. You might need to operate your test from multiple locations, from say, uh, California here in the United States to Sydney, Australia, or anywhere around the world. And the third reason to run these tests in the cloud is for remote testing. You could have the test maker console deployed in India, and you could have the test nodes that operate the test here in the United States. The test maker architecture makes it very easy to do cloud-based testing. The test maker console is a desktop application that you'd install on a Windows machine, a Mac, or a Linux machine. It includes the grid and cloud test deployment capability to be able to take a recorded test script that might be a Selenium script or Sahi script, could be a SOAP UI test, it could be a, a unit test that you've written in Java or Ruby or another high-level language. The console automatically deploys that test script to a test node the test node is a test injector. It has a set of script runners built into it that operate the test in its native format. The test maker architecture also has a back-end monitoring component called PTT Monitor. It observes CPU network and memory utilization on the server that's running your application, or maybe the database. So let's see how this would work, say, with uh, the push-to-test on-demand network. Push to Test has already uh, partnered up with Amazon, GoGrid, Rackspace, and CollabNet to create the on-demand network. In this environment, the TestMaker console already has the cloud client built into it to communicate with Amazon Web Services. So when you press the Start key on the TestMaker console, the cloud client communicates with Amazon Web Services directly. That communication passes along the credentials to operate the test an Amazon Machine Instance, or AMI, file ID, and then a count of how many machine instances you want to run the test on. And when the Amazon Web Services receives this request from the TestMaker console, it creates a machine instance that runs the contents of that AMI file. The AMI files that we create use the CentOS Linux distribution as an operating environment and come pre-configured with the test node the PTT monitor, and a copy of Java are ready to go. So when the Amazon system starts up that machine instance, the test node is now there for the console to communicate with and to start running a test. In this case, we might have a designer script uh, a file, which is a recording in TestMaker's object designer, that gets sent over to the test node. The designer script commands are executed in a headless browser called HTML unit, and HTML unit then interacts with the application under test, which in this uh, uh, tutorial is going to be a, a set of web pages on the Sahi website. At the same time, the PTT monitor is observing CPU network and memory utilization of that machine instance. In the demo that I'm about to show, there's a second machine instance that's running a copy of MySQL. That is, the test node as it's operating each step of every command of the test script, is going to be storing or inserting values into that repository, identifying which transaction was running, 
how long the step took to operate, and passed fail status. At the end of the test, then, the testmaker console is going to scan the repository, identify a set of charts that go into a report to indicate the root cause of a performance bottleneck or a functional issue. Twitter.com slash fcohen. The second step, then, is to request on-demand credentials from info at pushtotest.com. Just send us an email there. Let's see how this works in action. This directory shows you the files that come with this tutorial. You have a testmaker test scenario, an Amazon EC2 configuration file, and a pre-recorded designer script test. We created the designer script test and the test scenario in the testmaker editor and testmaker object designer. To run these scripts, you need to download a copy of Testmaker Enterprise 6.0 or later. Here is the Testmaker console, which is ready for me to open that existing test and to operate it in this controller window. The controller window has controls for running, pausing, or stopping the test. I can also click here and bring up the Testmaker editor to see how the test was uh, orchestrated. So in this case, we can see that this is going to be a load test. It's going to operate at 5 virtual users, then 10, and then 15. And the Use Case tab here will identify that it's going to run that designer script, test script. And under Test Nodes, we've identified that this will run in the Amazon EC2 network with just one test node, one machine instance, and using this config file. These three extra options identify the controls that TestMaker will use. Um, so, for example, when I start the test, TestMaker will automatically create the machine instances that are required. At the end of the test, it will take all of them down, and uh, this extra option would be if we kept the machines up, whether to reboot them after, after the test operated. So I'll go over here and click under Run. If we want to see the uh, communication between TestMaker and the Amazon network, we can click here on the Output panel, and you'll see this is the uh, local console log. It typically takes about three or four minutes for these machine instances to be ready to run the test. There we go. The test node is now running in that new machine instance. TestMaker is going to send the test script over to that test node and operate the test as a load and performance test. In this case, the transaction is equivalent to running that single designer script uh, from top to bottom. When TestMaker is done operating this test, it will tear down that machine instance and I'll see the results here. TestMaker Enterprise includes the TestMaker Cloud Client, which lets me uh, uh, make configuration changes to that Amazon EC2 configuration file. Here is where I would enter in my Amazon EC2 credentials, the account name, the Amazon Web Services access key, the secret access key, and then over here under the machine profile, the AMI file that I want to use, the instance type, the key pair which will identify security privileges, uh, and the security group. We really appreciate you taking your time away from your busy day to learn about TestMaker and cloud testing. Where we'd recommend you go from here is to download TestMaker. If you want to learn more about push-to-test technology in general, take a look at a screencast and tutorial. You'll find dozens of them at pushtotest.com slash screencastcentral. We also host an open source test workshop that demonstrates the entire TestMaker and open source test platform um, from start to finish. Information about this free workshop is at workshop.pushtotest.com. If any of this has intrigued you enough to ask for a proposal on the costs of licenses, training, support, and consulting, please contact our sales group by sending an email to sales at push2test.com or give them a call at 408-871-0122 here in the United States. Their sales office is located in Austin, Texas. I thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you.